Palawans in our culture form a very uh, strong bond with not just our community, with each other, but with the ocean and the environment. Actually, our land is considered our mother and our ocean is considered our father. I think for Pacific Islanders, people don't realize that the ocean is a real integral part to our daily survival, our sense of identity, and our overall connection to the world. Palawan water is currently protected 80%. We need to continue protecting the ocean because any change will drastically reduce our opportunity to continue to survive on these small islands with these resources. So it's important that, you know, we maintain protection. I think uh, from generation to come, we depend much on the ocean. Our lives, my life depend on ocean. That's part of uh, me going out and get fish for me and my family. It contains all the treasure for their generation to come, and they need to be protected so that they can benefit from it in the long term. So Palau's taken some pretty remarkable steps to protect their marine environment. They've stepped out front as a leader, closing off the majority of their waters to extractive activities. By and large, what we see here are, are signs of resilience and recovery here in Palau. And that's a direct response to the actions they've taken and the time that these reefs have been protected. We're seeing areas that have suffered massive impacts from storms, but are also showing really remarkable signs of recovery. We've learned a lot over the past 50 years in terms of how coral reefs are functioning, why they're important. You know, in science, there's a lot of gloom and doom reporting of what's happening with coral reefs. But at the same time, we're seeing that these healthy ecosystems can bounce back. On this expedition, we've gone throughout the Southwest Islands of Palau, really highlighting those areas and that there are these, you know, bright, shiny spots um, still left in the world is really important. So for us, it was really exciting uh, to come across the Scripps imaging technology because now our own community members can actually do the data collection themselves. And then they can actually bring these images back to the communities to see all of the fast changing marine ecosystems. Bull is a Palawan management measure that we put in place when a resource is running scarce and uh, we need to give it time to replenish. Respect and reciprocity, it's a give and take relationship. We would take things out of the ocean, but we would also replenish it. Palawans understand that, you know, nature, if you give it time, it will replenish itself. When you leave a place, it will recover. And that's what we've seen in the Rock Islands, all over Palau, in all the protected areas. Huge spillover effect. Places that are open for fishing, community members are benefiting from that. But also very important, the places that are protected are teeming with so many marine life. This is one way that we restore balance. It's funny that as academics or managers, we're coming to this realization that, hey, these approaches that have existed for thousands of years are really effective and we need to start embracing these. It's something that's not unusual to a lot of these island communities. They know about traditional management of resources and this is just another step to take it to the next level. A great example of what benefits do you have by protecting your resources would be in Palau. Nearly half of the economy is supported by tourism. People come from all over the world to view these coral reefs. You know, highlighting that and showing that to the world that recognizing and supporting the protection of these resources, we can really do well economically, but it also supports the livelihoods of the local communities as well. What has really helped our economy is our visitors. What do tourists want? They want to come and see beautiful marine life. They want to come and experience the beautiful Palawan culture. You know, that's why we have the marine sanctuary and also the shark sanctuary. It's an opportunity for us to have more marine life that people want to go and see. I think it's very important that the Palau hold the Ocean Conference. We are serious about protecting our ocean. It's our way of life. The Our Oceans Conference is a world platform for direct conservation action and outcomes. And what we've seen since the Our Ocean Conference has began our country stepping up, making bold commitments and following through on them. 
The Our Ocean Conference is important because it brings together leaders from around the world. It's the first time that a small island nation has hosted the conference. And so it's a unique opportunity for Palau to highlight what they've been doing, but then also to bring together these world leaders to talk about solutions to these problems that are facing our oceans. As the Pacific Island community, we need to work together because together our management really protects our future. Palau can be the beacon of hope, the bright star for the international community so that we can find solutions to this ocean crisis. The voice of the community guides our management and our leaders need to represent the voice of the community. It's the community at the end of the day that will suffer if management is bad. If management is successful, they will benefit, they will be happy. I take pride in everything that I do because it's not only for myself but for the community and we all uh, come in and do one thing that is very important to protect our reef for, for everybody and that's something that you know I will tell my kids that say it was protected and now you're benefiting from it carry on the torch from here on most impactful things for me is seeing the steps that Palauans have taken to protect resources for the future. I want to be able to see that move beyond Palau, and I, I hope that others will use Palau as an example for how we can protect these ecosystems, but also see how humans can thrive into the future. Personally, I love the ocean because when I jump in the ocean, I see all the beauty underneath. I don't know how to express it. The serenity of the place, it creates a very special bond because it captures your attention and it takes you away from your troubles and gives you the opportunity to, you know, just be in the beauty of, you know, God's creation. 